Confused about the cosmos? Can't tell a planet from a star? Then give us just five minutes and we'll show you what they are. Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. A pair of triangles in the sky for Labor Day and Mercury at dawn. Hey there, stargazers. I'm James Albury from the Kika Silva Pla Planetarium at Santa Fe College in Gainesville, Florida, and I'll be your guide to the sky this month on Stargazer. Next week, there's a great chance to see the most elusive of the naked eye planets, Mercury, in the early dawn. Plus, do you know that every Labor Day weekend, three very bright stars will make a giant triangle shine overhead? Let me show you how to find Mercury and the triangle this and every Labor Day weekend. Simply go outside between 9 and 10 p.m. your local time any Labor Day weekend and look straight up almost overhead and you'll see three extremely bright stars which, if we connect with lines, make a huge stellar triangle which is traditionally called the Summer Triangle because every year these three stars can be seen rising over the eastern horizon in early evening at the beginning of summer. But since the stars change their position with each season, by the time September rolls around, this triangle has changed its position so that in early evening it's almost directly overhead and makes an almost perfect must-see Labor Day tradition. Now, each star belongs to a separate constellation, so not only do we have three wonderful stars, we have three equally wonderful constellations. The brightest star is Vega. It belongs to the small constellation Lyra the Harp. The second brightest is Altair, in a much larger constellation called Aquila the Eagle. And the dimmest of the three is Deneb, which marks the tail of a huge constellation called Cygnus the Swan. Now, if we compare each of these three stars with the star we call our Sun, you'll be in for a big surprise. Our Sun is the closest star, only eight and a third light minutes away, which means it takes its light eight and a third minutes to reach us. So, we see it not as it actually exists now, but as it existed eight and a third minutes ago. Altair is the closest triangle star and is 17 light years away, which means that it takes its light 17 years to reach us. So we see it not as it exists this Labor Day weekend, but as it existed 17 years ago. Wow! Vega is slightly farther, 25 light years away, which means that it takes its light 25 years to reach us. So we see it as it existed 25 years ago. Wow again! Deneb, however, is so incredibly far away, 1,500 light years, that it takes its light 1,500 years to reach us. So, we see it as it existed 1,500 years ago. Super wow. <laughs> and talk about size and brightness. Altair is one and a half times the diameter of our almost one million mile wide sun, and nine times brighter. Vega, however, is two and a half times the diameter of our sun, and is 58 times brighter. But you ain't seen nothing yet because Deneb is a super 116 times as wide as our sun and 60,000 times brighter. In fact, if Deneb were as close as Vega and Altair, it would be the brightest star in the night sky. Meanwhile, in the morning sky, there's another triangle and a special celestial visitor that makes it worth your while to get up early to stargaze. The tiny planet Mercury is notoriously difficult to find, let alone observe it. Mercury orbits closer to the Sun than any other planet, so Mercury is never visible in a dark night sky. Get out around 5 a.m. Monday the 5th and look southeast and bingo, it's winter time. Lots of our favorite winter stars are making their return. Let's focus on just three bright ones for now. Sirius, Procyon, and Betelgeuse make up the winter triangle. Down to their left and low on the horizon will be a bright pinkish spot of light, and that's the planet Mercury. Below Mercury is a bright star, Regulus, the heart of Leo the Lion. If you watch over the next few days, Regulus will seem to rise up to meet Mercury in the, on the morning of September 9th, when they will only be three quarters of a degree apart. So there you have it, three bright stars forming a giant triangle almost overhead in early evening every Labor Day weekend, and a bright triangle of the winter season to come in the early morning and joined this year by the most elusive of the planets. Happy Labor Day and keep looking up.